Sam, help her get up. <laughs> we do have a health alert for you tonight. Doctors here in the Inland Northwest say they are seeing one sickness that puts thousands in the hospital show up months earlier than expected, and now they're urging people to get a vaccine for the flu. The Centers for Disease Control says on average more than 200,000 Americans go to the hospital each year because of complications from the flu, and they're seeing more and more people hospitalized each year. KHQ's Gabe Cohen spoke with doctors today, and Gabe, we understand they're confirming the first flu case in our area. Well, Dan, the first flu patient of the year was a patient at Valley Hospital. He was a man in his 70s. He was admitted in mid-September, treated, and then released. But those test results did come back in from the lab, and he was positive for the flu. Now, the peak of flu season is usually January through March. And last year, the first case wasn't confirmed until November 7th. So flu, uh, flu season definitely has come early this year, more than a month early. I spoke with the health department about what that means for the coming months. It's definitely time to get your flu vaccine. Um, we know that many pregnant mothers don't know that they should be getting their flu vaccine. And um, everyone else, there's plenty of vaccine available in town. Uh, there's lots of different options for how you can get your vaccine. There's not a lot of excuses left for why you wouldn't. Now, the health district says there's no way to tell what a flu season will bring, but here's some stats from the last few years. Last year, we had an increase in flu cases, including 15 deaths here in Spokane County. Now, the department says most of those deaths are preventable, and this is something that you should keep your eye on if you're in that high-risk group. That's children, pregnant women, and elderly people. Here's some advice from the health district. So respiratory etiquette with um, coughing into your um, sleeve, making sure that you're washing your hands thoroughly, especially after using the restroom. I might be doing one live. Now, obviously, it's an easy process. We hear it all the time to get a flu shot, but I've personally actually never gotten my flu shot. And so the good people here at Group Health, including... Karen, our nurse here, are going to help me out just to show you exactly how easy it is. Well, clearly we lost his audio, but let's watch him. Let's watch yeah. him get his shot. I didn't know we had a ticket to the gun See show. See if he cries. <laughs> <laughs> like, he didn't even flinch. Okay, we don't need to hear you. We just look at that. He's still... You know what I used to do? I would give my kids chocolate, and I'd put a piece of chocolate in their mouth while they were getting a flu shot. Oh, what a stud you are, Gabe. It's nice you get a little <laughs> Spider-Man bandage. Oh, yeah. so sweet. Yes. <laughs> All right, still ahead here at 5 o'clock, Halloween fun. But why kids are not the only ones focusing on treats more than tricks. But first, pulled over by police for how you were driving or what you were driving. One new study says violations may be linked to your vehicle. That's next.